Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you create a document, you set a paper size, such as 8.5 by 11. When you reach the end of the specified page size in Word, an automatic page break is inserted. Sometimes these automatic page breaks occur in places where you would rather not have them occur. For example, an automatic page break may leave one sentence on a second page orphaned from the rest of the paragraph. You cannot delete automatic page breaks in Word. Instead, you must insert a manual page break at a point in the page prior to the occurrence of the automatic page break. Inserting manual page breaks is not difficult. Just click into the document at the place where you want the page break to occur. This should, of course, be before the automatic page break occurs. Then either press the Control plus Enter keys on your keyboard, or click the Breaks button that appears in the Page Setup button group on the Page Layout tab of the ribbon, and choose the Page Command from the drop-down menu. Note that while the page break may be the most commonly used type of document break that occurs, it is by no means the only type of document break available. When you click the Breaks button that appears in the Page Setup button group on the Layout tab of the ribbon, you will see many of the other types of document breaks that are available for use in Microsoft Word. You can also select these types of breaks for your document if the need arises. We will now examine the other types of document breaks that you can insert into your Word documents and their uses within the program. A section break is much like a page break, but it breaks the sections of your document. When you insert a section break, you can then set the page layout independently for each section. For example, when using a next page section break, each section could change the page layout, like changing from a portrait page orientation to a landscape page orientation within a single document. There are four different types of section breaks that you can insert. They are next page, continuous, even page, and odd page. A next page section break inserts a page break but also creates two separate sections of the document so that each section can have its own unique page layout. A continuous section break inserts a section break but continues the next section on the same page as the previous section. The odd page or even page section break will also place a section break and then continue the next section on the next available odd or even numbered page. These are helpful for inserting section breaks into documents that are intended for double-sided bound printing. If you select to view the non-printing characters within your document that contains a page break, you will see that a manual page break is identifiable by the words page break in the center of a dashed line within the document. You can easily delete these breaks just as you would any other character. You simply click into the line containing the page break character and then press the delete key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.